Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Taylor and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be creating four totally different looks using one palette and I am going to be using this e.l.f. Dream Orange Sickle Palette. I said that totally wrong. It's Orange Dream Sickle Palette. So I'm going to be taking this palette and creating four totally different looks, including the one that I have on right now. So if you guys are interested to see what looks I create and how I do it, just keep watching. And before we start today's video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe. Also, make sure you have your post notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload. I will be doing another four looks using one palette with one of these e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadow palettes. Comment down below on which ones you guys would like to see me use. And without any further ado, let's hop into this. Um, four looks one palette with orange dreamsicle So here is look number one. I am going to be starting off with the darkest peach shade matte shadow and I'm just going to be taking that on a fluffy blending brush and I am going to be blending that all in the outer corner of my eye and starting to blend it all along the crease of my eye. I'm going to take it just a little bit above the crease of my eye just so that darker shadow um, peaks above my crease because I do have hooded eyes. So I'm just going to be blending that shadow on and um, packing it down to get full pigmentation. And then I will be doing the same steps to my other eye, again just packing that shadow in the outer corner and then blending it all along the crease of my eye. Next, I am going to be taking a smaller blending brush and I will be going in with that second matte shadow. It is the lighter um, shadow of the two and I'm going to be blending that first shadow out with this one. So I'm just going to be going in back and forth in circular motions all along the eye shadow that I am blending out. Um, I'm just going to be blending it out where those two shadows meet seamlessly, where there is no harsh defined line where the two shadows meet. And I will be doing that same steps to my other eye. And then I will be taking the darkest shimmer in the palette on a um, little brush and I'm going to be putting that all on the um, lid of my eye. So I'm going to be focusing on putting it on the inner part of my eyelid and then blending it over to the middle. I'm not covering my whole entire eyelid, just going to kind of give the effect of a half cut crease with just the shimmer shadow. And here's what the final look looks like. I didn't put eyelashes on or mascara or anything like that because I have more looks, but this is what the look looks like and I really like how it turned out. It's super simple. Now we are ready for look number two. So again, I am going to be going in with the darkest matte shade in the palette. It is like a darker peach. And this time I'm just going to be covering my whole entire eyelid with this shadow. So I'm just going to be covering my whole eyelid with it. And then I'm going to start blending it up into the crease of my eye. So basically, I am going to be trying to create a smoky eye with this eyeshadow. It definitely is not smoky as in being very dark, um, but I'm kind of going to give that effect with just putting all this eyeshadow on my whole eyelid and then I will blend it out lighter. Thank you. 
Next, I will be taking a fluffy blending brush with no product on it, and I'm just going to start blending that shadow out so there is no harsh defined line where the eyeshadow stops. Next, I will be going in with that lightest shimmer shadow, and I'm just going to be popping a little bit of that on the inner corner. This is going to give like an inner corner highlight for the overall look. And here is what the final look looks like. I really like how this turned out. It would look really good with some eyelashes. Next is look number three. So I am going to be starting out again with that darkest matte shadow. This time I'm going to be using just a little bit of a smaller um, blending brush. And I'm going to start by putting that on the outer corner of my eyelid. So I'm just going to be packing that shadow down to get the full pigmentation um, honestly, I did think this shadow would be a little bit darker than what it is. Um, it is definitely more peach than what I originally thought, but actually I'm really happy with um, how the looks are turning out. So I'm just going to be putting that on the outer corner of my eye, and then I will be putting that shadow also on the inner part of my eye, but I will not be connecting the two. I'm going to be kind of trying to do a spotlight halo eyeshadow look. So basically, I just put it on the outer corner and the inner corner, and I do not connect the two. I leave a little pathway um, down the center of the two where I can create the spotlight look. Next, I will be going in with that lighter matte shadow, and I'm going to be taking a fluffier blending brush to do that. So now I'm just going to be blending out that darker shadow that I just applied. So I'm just going to go in back and forth in circular motions, and I'm trying to be really careful and not blend the two together so I can get the halo spotlight look. Now I am going to be going in with that lightest um, shimmer shadow. It's a very pretty light peach shadow. Um, so I'm just going to be putting that you know, all along the little pathway between the two shadows. This is going to create this spotlight halo look. So I'm just going to be putting that shimmer all up that, through that little area where I did not have any eyeshadow. And then I will blend it into the peach so there's no defined line where like the matte shadow and the shimmer shadow meet. Um, that it's just blended together and I really love how this turned out. I think this is really pretty with these shadows um, The colors of these shadows look really good together. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks kind of like a sun um, halo eye So here is what the final look looks like. I really love how it turned out. I definitely um, would do this again and put some eyeliner and um, eyelashes on this looks really cool. This is probably one of my favorite looks I did so far. Now we are on to look number four, the final look. So now I will be going in with that lighter matte shadow and I'm going to be taking that and blending it all along the crease of my eyelid. I'm just going to be going in back and forth in circular motions and like I said earlier I do have hooded eyes so I will be blending that eyeshadow right in the crease and a little bit above the crease just so the eyeshadow peaks above my eyes. And then I'm just going to do the same thing to my other eye. Thank you. 
So now I'm going to be going in with that same blending brush with no product on it and just blend everything out further. I will be going in back and forth in circular motions just to blend everything out. Now I'm going to be going back in with that lightest shimmer shadow and I'm going to be putting that all over my whole entire eyelid. So basically I'm going to be trying to keep it on the lower part of my eyelid more towards my lash line and then blend it up towards that matte shadow. Now I am going to be taking that darker matte shadow and I'm going to be taking a defining brush and I'm just going to be popping this all along my lower lash line to try to give the effect of eyeliner. So I really have to pack that shadow on there just so it can stand out because the shadow is a little light. So I'm trying to give the effect of eyeliner and I actually really like how it's turning out so far. So here is what the final look looks like. I really like how this looked. I am going to go ahead and apply some mascara and I will see you guys at the end. Alright guys, that is all I have for you in today's video. Comment down below which look was your favorite and I will see you guys in my next video.